ever survived the Cree battle were it not for the intervention of this ragtag team we know as the Guardians of the Galaxy. To uncover the true story, I spoke with the captain of the crew. Tina Quill, thank you for joining me today. The leader of your group was telling me about the plan to save Xandar from the rogue crew. Wait, well, did you say the leader? I, I'm the leader. Wait, who said that? It was Rocket. Uh, well, don't believe anything Rocket says. But he said it was your plan. Well, okay. You can't believe that. It was 12% of a plan. Right? It was Well, go on, introduce yourself. Have you forgotten who I am? His brain is so fresh. This is none other than Drax the Destroyer. See? Even she knows who I am. Uh, anyways, I danced circles around the creed, dude. Totally saved the day. Yeah, you're a weird and embarrassing dancer, but it was a means of distraction so that Rocket could destroy the creed. Thank you, Drax, for setting the record straight for our viewers. You're welcome. My courage, Peter Quill. To flail around like a total fool to help save the day. No, Casey. You're not really making it sound as intense and dangerous as it actually was. I'm sure it was very intense. We'll learn more about just how okay. intense and dangerous it was in just a moment. Our world would have been destroyed in the battle with the Kree were it not for the help we received from the Guardians of the Galaxy. I was fortunate to secure this exclusive interview with them. <laughs> I am absolutely thrilled to speak with the leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, I'm the leader. And I'm also the captain. Captain Leader. I thought the leader was Star-Lord. Nah, we only let him think that. And don't call him Star-Lord. His close friends call him Peter J. Quill. Noted, thank you. So, it was your idea to help Xandor? Okay, okay. It wasn't exactly my idea. Is this the famous Groot? <laughs> Every Zandarian knows how you gave your life to save the rest of the Guardians that day for the battle. Tell us in your own words how that felt. I am Groot. You gotta forgive him. He's got what you call a limited vocabulary. What he's trying to say is he did sacrifice himself to save us all and Xandar. Fortunately, he's plant-based, so we grew him back, and they grow up so fast, especially when you water them. It would appear so. Uh, so back to my original question, whose idea was it to save Xandar? It was Quill's. He had this half-baked plan, and we saved his butt. End of story. I got a root. Okay, it was three-quarters baked. But we were all heroes that day. I am root. I'll be back with more of the Guardians in a moment. Xandar was literally destroyed by a rogue Kree who chose not to honor our peace treaty. Without the Nova Corps forces and their mutual allies like the Ravagers and the Guardians of the Galaxy, we would never have survived. To discover more about these allies, let's return to my exclusive interview with the Guardians. It's not often one gets to interview the most dangerous woman in the galaxy. Welcome, Gamora. Wait, who called me that? Peter Quill. You mean Star Wars? Oh, I was told he hates that name. Oh, yeah, he does. He really hates it. So how did you Guardians end up teaming up with the Ravagers? They normally only work for themselves. Well, uh... You know, we like them. And was that part of Peter Quill's plan? You mean the plan that didn't go according to plan? We were completely outnumbered. In the end, though, we were able to defeat the Rogue Creek. But we couldn't have done it without Quill. That's right! And here he is now, Peter Quill. What do you have to say about this? Um, you know, I guess, I mean, it was really a group effort to execute my plan. Thank you, Gamora. I'm only sad because you told me to. Well, I would love to hear more about how Tara was chosen for this Wonders of Xandar tour. Well, that was totally my idea. 
and Epcot do it, because I love that place. It's awesome. I went there as a kid, and I, I, I mean, I cannot wait to get to go back and ride Horizons. Also want to see the energy dinosaurs, and of course, hear the veggie veggie fruit fruit. I mean, it's the best. Can't wait. <laughs> okay, well, I'm sure it will be wonderful for you to relive all of those memories again. And it's thanks to the Guardians that Xandar is reaching out to other cultures across the galaxy. Yes, everything we do on Xandar is done with the goal of creating a better way of life for our citizens. Another of our cities on Xandar was designed in a radio pattern. We recently learned that your Terran vision, Walt Disney, had a similar goal in mind with his early concepts for the experimental prototype of the community of tomorrow. We are gratified that he and you appreciate the value of good design for better living and are proud to share our Zandarian story with you here at Epcot. With three sons, our land is happy.